Love it, I love it, I love it. Because we let the Lord know we love you more than anything. Hallelujah. And whew, I love God, amen. I love God with all my heart, amen. Every fabric of my being, amen. I love the Lord, amen. We want to welcome everybody to New Beginners Outreach International, amen. And we want to let you know that the Lord is good, amen. The Lord is good and he's greatly to be praised, amen. We just thank God for what he's doing today. Today we're going to continue to talk about press. I talked about press last week, amen. So each month I try to get a theme or a series going, amen, so I can stay in that vein, amen, to get to where we're about to go, amen. And today we're going to talk about press, <laughs> amen. Press past, press past your past with a T on the end, amen. Hallelujah. And I got this little notation down that says, as believers, new and old, we have to come to grips that we are not there yet. Yeah. Amen. We have not arrived. Amen. We are steady trucking along in life, finding our way as life plays out. Amen. Some good days and some bad days. Amen. But each day we are guaranteed that Jesus is with us. Amen. Amen. It says in the word, it says he will never leave us <laughs> nor forsake us. Amen. Amen. And that's deep because... In return, most of us, we leave him all the time. All the time. Amen. We leave God all the time, but it says he is still there. Hallelujah. Yeah. So today we're going to come and bring some clarity that our sufferings, our challenges, and life are all tied up to your purpose. Amen. Your calling and your destiny. Amen. Amen. So say press. 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 Amen. One more time. Say press. Press. Amen. The Lord gave me an acronym. It says position, repent, expect, strive to succeed. Amen. Amen. So through positioning, repentance, and expectation, you strive and you can succeed. Amen. Amen. So we have to press on and press in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it says this road is not easy, Amen. but it is rewarding. Amen. Amen. Choose Christ to receive, receive eternal life. Amen. And then I wrote this down here. It says if you've been knocked down before, that's cool. So you know what it feels like. Amen? Amen. So get up and press. Amen. Amen. So if you've been knocked down before, that's nothing new. You know what I mean? I, I can take a good punch. Amen? Amen. I, I, I can take it. Amen? So I can stand right back up and press. Amen? Amen. So now I'm going to do a little testifying of how a couple times I've been knocked down. Amen? Amen. Even in life that's growing up. Amen? We think, oh man, this is bad. I'm going through this situation. I don't know why I went through that. That's just something that knocks you down real quick. Amen? Amen. In Cali, man, it was rough out there when we lived out in Cali. Amen? Man, mom and lost their jobs and everything. So we became accustomed to learning how to go eat at different missions. Amen. Amen. L.A. missions, the, the mission, the skid row, I know about all of that. Amen. And, you know, a couple times electricity been off. I know a lot of people had electricity on. Amen. But we even got so gutter with it. We didn't care. Amen. We had got a little extension cord and went to the store and got one of those little uh, plugs that you can put into a light. And we had a sticking cord to plug that to the light, so we had electricity, yeah, yeah. Hey, my, my, my partner, we come from basketball practice, you know what I mean? He's like, hey man, it's dark. I said, don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> Turn that lamp on, the light switch on, buddy. <laughs> But we had to get it in, amen? amen. Every time mom and them come home, car gone. You know, I'm like, man, what's going on, amen? I had to walk from practice three miles, amen? So we went on vacation. I showed my wife where my old school was and how I had to walk from there to home. She was like, man, baby, you had it rough. I said, yeah, baby, I did. But I learned. Amen. Yeah, how to be a base and a bound. Amen. Yeah, amen. And that's why I hustled. I hustled so I could send money to the West Coast. Because the reason that I came down back to Illinois because my mom and them had to go to a women's shelter. Yeah, amen. amen. So a man, me being a man child, I couldn't be there. Amen. Yeah, amen. But even in the process of that, we had to live in the jungles. Uh, amen. amen. The jungles is a real gang infested territory. You might have seen it on train today yeah. where all the blood's at. Amen. So I had to live in the jungles. Mm -hmm. In order for me to even walk through it, I had to have my basketball. They was going to try to murder me because I wasn't saved. Amen. Yeah. They was going to try to murder me because I wasn't in the gang. Amen. But I got a basketball, so that's what saved me. Yeah. When I tell people the, the reason why I hooped so much and was so good because that was the Holy Ghost that was keeping me yeah. from gang banging. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So that was my thing of learning. Yeah. How am I going to get out of this? This yeah. was my way out. Amen. Yeah. Sports. Basketball, amen. But that's why I came back to Illinois, and that's why I hustled, amen, because I was knocked down, so I said, I need to send some money out there to amen. the West Coast, amen. But it all shaped me. 
Yeah. Amen. It all got me to where I need to go. So I know being knocked down not only helped me and my sisters and my mother, but it helped out the whole aspect that the Lord was with us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So then it goes on. Now we're going to think about when you knock down through your experiences and how to maneuver, amen, amen. and how not to get knocked down again, amen. amen. And now I'm pressing past my past, amen. Say press. Press. Amen. And I love the word. This is going to be a good scripture. Y'all can turn your Bibles to Isaiah 43, 18 through 19, amen. Yeah. Good word, good word. But sometimes we got to look back at our life like, man, you know, I can relate to someone who, you know, who is down on their luck. Amen. I can relate to someone who don't got enough. Amen. And that's what the Lord does. He trains you to be who you are. Amen. That's how you get your compassion. Amen. That's how you become a great person. Amen. A great person. So you can understand others. Amen. Through their situations. But they got to press as well. Amen. Isaiah 43 and 18. 43. Okay, 43 and 18. Isaiah 43 and 18. And I'm going to read this out of the King James and I'm going to flip to the message version as well. I love the message version. Y'all got it? Amen. It says, Rem Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? It says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Amen. Amen. Know what I put down. It says, remember ye not. Forget it. Yeah. Amen. I know what you went through. Amen. I know your struggle. I know your suffering. Amen. But forget about it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The Lord knows what we've been through. Amen. Yeah. He knows how hard it was. Amen. Yeah. But it says, forget about it. In 19, it says, God will do a new thing. Yeah. Amen. It says, if you, it says, if you're ready for it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And then it says, it shall spring forth. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes the reason why the thing, new thing can't spring forth is because we stuck in the old. Oh. Yeah. Amen. The thing can't come, come forth because the old is just stuck in the way. Amen. Yeah. And it says, old thinking, old ways, old struggles. Amen. Whatever it may be, just old. Amen. You know how we say, out with the old and in with the new. Amen. Amen. Say press. Press. Amen. And it also says in 19, it says, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yeah. So we got to press in and press through our wilderness. Yeah. Amen. But in your downtime, expect an oasis. Hallelujah. Yeah. So a wilderness is a, a desert place. Yeah. Amen. A place where it feels like nothing is happening. Amen. No provision. Amen. No, no greenery. Amen. It's just a desert. It's sand. It's hot. You know what I mean? We can't make it. You about to pass out. Amen. But we have to expect an oasis. Amen. This should have been expecting in 13. And an oasis is a fertile or green spot in the desert or wasteland. Amen. It says made so the is it made so by the presence of water. So that means the presence of water makes an oasis. And then it says a situation or place preserved from surrounding unpleasantness or refuge. An oasis of serenity amid chaos. God is our refuge. Amen. Amen. So while you're going through your wilderness experience or you feel like you're in a drought or you feel like ain't nothing happened, amen. You might be down on your luck, amen. You might feel like, man, what's going on in my life? You got to know that the oasis is God. Amen. amen. And we are part of the oasis because we're trying to be that oasis in your desert situation. Amen. amen. We want to give you the things what the Lord is saying, amen. And it talks about fertile ground, amen. And it also says it's a place of refuge so you can learn more about the kingdom. The only reason why you go through is that so you can learn more about the kingdom. Amen. As you're going through it, you say, man, it wasn't nobody but God. Amen. It wasn't nobody but God who saved me up and down those streets of Birmingham in L.A. Amen. It wasn't nobody but God who people try to get me in my mind. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing but God who fed us when we didn't have nothing to eat. Amen. Amen. We had to swallow our pride, amen, and pass out the food. Amen. And then we had to sit down with him to eat the food. Amen. amen. We pulled it up. And people walking, but we pulling up. We had transportation and all that, but we didn't have finances. Amen. But one thing, that's my wife said, baby, you can eat anything. I say, because I know what it's like. Amen. I know what it's like when you ain't got no need. Amen. I know how to make something out of nothing. Amen. So that's what the Lord said. Press on and press through. Amen. So he 
he's our refuge. Amen. Amen. And I said, wow, Lord. You know what I mean? This is this is crazy. You know, we got clothes on and all this, but we got to sit out. So now that's the compassion. Amen. Amen. So that's when you got to swallow your pride. Amen. Amen. So I know where a lot of places to eat at out in Cali. Amen. I know the good part and I also know where the bad part is. Amen. But it strengthens you. Amen. It makes you know that the Lord was there. He was the one that was holding you. Amen. Amen. And it goes on. I'm going to read uh, this in the message real quick. And I'm still in 43. I'm going to read 16 through 21. It says, this is what God says. The God who builds a road right through the ocean, <laughs> who carves a path through pounding waves, the God who summons in horses and chariots and armies, they lay down and can't get up. They are snuffed out like so many camels. It says, forget, forget, amen. Forget about what's happened. Don't keep going over old history, amen. Be alert, be present. He says, I'm doing something brand new, and it's bursting out. Don't you see it? It says, there it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers in the badlands, wild animals will say thank you. The coyotes and the buzzards, he says, because I have provided water in the desert, rivers through the sun-baked earth, drinking water for the people I chose, the people I made especially for myself, of people who are custom-made, made to praise me. Amen? amen. So as you're going through, he's going to make a way for you. Amen? Yes, yes. But also as he's making a way for you, the ones around you going to yes. say thank you. Yes. Amen? Yes. Because you come in that place, people going to be like, man, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what I would have done. Amen? amen? So that's what New Beginners Operation International is. It's your oasis. Amen? amen. We, we got a source of water, which is a living one. Amen. amen? It was Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? amen. So because of who you are, people are going to say thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Amen. People are going to say thank you. If, if it wasn't for you, I would have been lost. Amen. Amen. If it wasn't for you having some water, I would have been forgotten about. Amen. But he said, don't worry about the struggles you've been through. Amen. Don't worry about those things that you didn't have. Amen. It says press. Right. Hallelujah. And then we're going to jump to the New Testament real quick. Amen. Philippians 3 and 13. That's what the Lord, he, he know, yeah, I, I know what you've been through. I seen what you've been through. I was there the whole time. Amen. Amen. But don't dwell on it. Forget it. Amen. Amen. You were built for this. You got to this next level because I was with you the whole time. Uh -huh. And I thank God for it, amen? Because it taught me, man, hey, you can be a base and you can be a bound. Don't take things for granted, amen? Uh -huh. You got to thank God every chance you get. Because it could have been worse, amen? amen? Like I said, if you've been knocked down before, it's all good. <laughs> get up and keep pressing. Amen. Philippians 3 and 13. Y'all got it? Amen. And it says, Brethren, I count myself to have, oh, okay, I count not myself to have apprehended. So what he's saying right there, I want to let you know I haven't made it yet. Uh, amen. <laughs> amen. I want to let you know that I don't got it yet. Amen. I ain't there yet. Amen. amen. But glory to God. One thing I do, it says, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth unto things which are before. Amen. 14, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, amen? So he's letting you know, brethren, my brothers, my sisters, amen, I haven't apprehended yet. I don't got it yet, amen. I ain't there yet, amen, but glory to God, one thing that I do do, forgetting those things which are behind me, forgetting those things that I've been through, amen, forgetting those things that held me in my mind, but it says I'm reaching forth unto things which are before me. Yes. Amen. I'm reaching forth. And sometimes when you're reaching forth, that means it's going to be a stretch sometimes. Yes. Amen. It's going to be a stretch sometimes because yes. you're trying to get there. Amen. Yes. I'm trying to get there. I ain't there yet, but I'm yes. trying to get there. Yes. You got to reach. Amen. Yes. You got to press. And it says you got to go past your past memories. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Past disappointments. Yes. Past failures. Amen. Amen. Yes, those things. Amen. Forgetting those things and reaching forth. Amen. Uh -huh. Now let's do a demonstration. Now reach forth. Reach forth. Amen. Some things you got to do about demonstration. Amen. Amen. You got to reach. And reach forth like you're really trying to get something. Because we ain't there yet. Amen. Amen. So that means we're reaching forth Amen. something. We trying to get somewhere, amen. People looking like me, I, I'm trying, amen. You know how old Carolina Bunch of guys? Carolina! They was trying to get the baby, amen. They were, I can't get you. Come on, let's demonstrate. Stay right there. I'm trying to get you. And you know, you you try to if my arms were a little bit long. If my fingers would have been a little bit long. If I could just, you know what I mean? Just like the woman with Israel Club. She said, man, if I could just touch a hem of this garment. Amen. 
Sometimes we just gotta touch something, yeah. amen. Yeah. In your desert situation, you're like, man, I see something. Uh -huh. yeah. That look like water. Uh -huh. That's an oasis. I see a palm tree. Yeah. I know it's water down there. Yeah. I see trees down there. Everything else around me was dry. Yeah. But I see something that way, amen. Yeah. You gotta reach, amen. Yeah. And sometimes when you reach, you stretch. Uh -huh. And in a stretch, it may be uncomfortable, amen. Yeah. But you're trying to get it, amen. Yeah. Things before you, ahead of you, in front of you, down the road. Amen. It might look crazy right now, but the things that's in front of you, yes. before you, uh -huh. down the road. Amen. Amen. Say press. press. Amen. In 14 it says, I press. Amen. When I don't want to press. Uh -huh. Woo. Yes. I press when I don't want to press. Amen. I press when I, I don't feel like it. Amen. That means you got to get it in. You got to press no matter what. Yes. Right. Amen. You have to press because as you press, you find out you get strong. Yeah. Amen. Even in bench pressing, amen. Yeah. You're doing it. You're doing reps, amen. Yeah. You're trying to get strong, amen. So you, you're training your muscles, amen. So now we got to train our faith muscle. Yeah. Amen. Don't worry about those things you've been through. Don't worry about that stuff, amen. It says forget those things. Yeah. Amen. amen. It's all good to ponder on. So you're like, man, I've been through that. So this is nothing. Right. Amen. I know what it's like. Amen. I know how to do it. So I got to manage my life a little better. Amen. I got to make sure I'm getting on the right course. Amen. So you got to make sure you press. Amen. You got to make sure you press. Amen. Even when you don't want to. And then you got to let others know, hey, I haven't apprehended yet. I ain't made it yet. Yeah. Amen. I ain't, I ain't there yet. I'm, I'm pressing. Pressing. Man. I'm pressing. Amen. I know a surprise if I press. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. I know a surprise if I press. Yeah. Amen. And it's in Christ Jesus. Everything we do is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Once you get on the good side or in Christ or in the ministry, amen, you got to press with God. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes it feels like, man, I'm telling y'all, last couple weeks was like I was in the desert. Amen. I said, Lord God, what I'm going to do? Press. Amen. Press when you don't want to press. And press when you don't even see it happening. Amen. Amen. He's like, Lord God, ain't nothing happening. I don't feel no goosebumps or nothing. Press. He said, that's not in the feeling. Amen. Amen. And, and that's what we like, man, I don't feel God. It's not in the feeling. This is a, okay, I'm going to make sure you ain't going to feel it. So when you come out, you know it's me. Amen. It says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. 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 Yeah, I'm going to see what you're going to do. Is you going to press? Yes. I know it's a little hard, amen, but it's okay, amen. amen. Press. Amen. Continue to press. And the thing amen. I put down for press is the little acronym, what that is. It's a, uh, an acronym. Let me find that real quick. I said, praise God. It says, positioning yourself, repentance, and expectation as you strive, you can succeed. Amen. You got to position yourself, amen. amen. You got to get in position. Sometimes you got to repent and you got to stay on expectation. And it says, as you strive, you can succeed. If, if you don't strive, ain't no way nothing going to happen. Amen. If you don't try to do better, ain't no way nothing can happen. Amen. That's in order for you to, to lead, see how your life can change. You got to try or want better. Amen. And here, I'm going to read this in the message real quick. And um, we're still in Philippians 3. It says, I'm going to read for one. It says, and that's about it, friends. Be glad in God! Exclamation point. Be glad in God. Since you came to Christ, be glad in him. Amen. Don't worry about the things you've been through. Now you got a new thing going on. Amen. Amen. It says, I don't mind repeating what I have written in early letters, and I hope you don't mind hearing it again. Amen. It says, better safe than sorry. So yeah. here it goes. It says, steer clear of the barking dogs, those religious busybodies, all bark and no bite. Amen. <laughs> Whoa, that was deep. That was deep. That's they talking about. Hey, don't worry about the religious busybodies. All bark and no bite. Woo! I said, God. I couldn't go more into that, but I ain't. Hallelujah. Y'all know what it is. And it says, all they're interested in is appearances. Wow. It says, knife happy circumcisers. Amen. I call them. It says, the real believers are the ones the Spirit of God leads to work away at this ministry. Amen. Filling the air with Christ's praise as we do it. It says, we can't carry this off by our own efforts. Amen. So that means the ministry we're doing, this ain't just for our own efforts. Amen. Amen. This is the Lord with us. Amen. We're not doing this for pleasure. We're not doing this for a, a fashion show. We're not doing this to have many members. We're doing this for God. Amen. Amen. And it goes on and says, even though we can list what many might think are impressive credentials, it says, you know my pedigree. 
It says a, a legit, what is it? A circumcised, I was circumcised on the eighth day. Now he's giving his test of testimony right here. This is uh, and he says, I was an Israelite, a man, a tribe of Benjamin, and it says, a strict and devout adherent of God's law, a fiery defender of purity of my religion, even to the point of persecution, uh, a persecutor in the church. It says, a meticulous observer of everything set down in God's law. So he's letting people know, hey, this is what I did. I persecuted the church too. But also, this is what I want to write down here. Uh, just put this in the atmosphere. It says, I'm not worried about the impressive credentials that I've done. That's what I say. We have not made it there yet. People Amen. are like, oh man, you're doing such a good job. This is this is not it. Amen. Amen. We 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 press it. Amen. Amen. We acquiring. We taking over territory. Amen. Amen. So that's what we're doing. Every time you do or move something in your life, you taking over territory. Amen. You moving from one place to the next because we still ain't there yet. Amen. Amen. We praise God for this, but we still ain't there yet. Amen. Amen. It's more to come. Amen. Amen. It's more to do. Amen. Amen. what we did in 16 months, but that's nothing. Amen. Amen. It's nothing to what God want to do. He said press. press. Amen. He said get it in. Amen. Amen. He says reach. Amen. He said forget about the, the 16 months. We're going to forget about it. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're in a barber shop, four months, it's over with. It's new. Amen. Amen. Now we at a new location. Amen. We ain't there yet. So we're like, oh man, y'all, yeah, we ain't there yet. Amen. This ain't it. Amen. Get ready, get ready. I said, well, praise God. Amen. I said, forget that. That's nothing. I said, okay, Lord. And then it goes on. It says, the very credentials these people are waving around as something special. Woo. He says, I'm tearing up and throwing out with the trash. He says, along with everything else I use to take credit for. And why? He says, because Christ, yes, all these things I once thought were so important are gone from my life. Amen. So the things that we're doing, the, the exploits of the world, they're cool. It's all right what we're doing for the kingdom, but it's nothing. Yes. Amen. Amen. It says, compared to the high privilege of knowing Christ as my master. Yes. First time. Amen. Everything I once thought I had for me is, is insignificant. It says, dog dung. Amen. It says, I've dumped it all in the trash. So that I can embrace Christ and be embraced by him. Yes. Amen. It says, I didn't want something petty, inferior brand of righteousness that comes from keeping a list of rules when I could get the robust kind that comes from trusting God and God's righteousness. Yes. Amen. It says, I gave up on all the inferior stuff so that I can know Christ personally, yes. experience his resurrection power, be a partner in his sufferings, yes. and go all the way with him to death itself. It says, if there's any way to get into the resurrection from dead, I want to do it. So he's talking about everything that I've been through is nothing. As long as I can be with God. Yeah. Long as I can experience, experience his presence. Amen. Long as I can feel or touch God. Amen. So what's the point of having all this big, beautiful stuff, but the presence of God is not there. Amen. Amen. We refuse to do that. We want the presence of God. Amen. If God ain't there, we ain't going. Amen. Of God is. Yeah. Amen. Whatever we do, praise God. But we want to go where God is. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He says, so let's keep the focus on that goal. Yeah. For those who want everything God has for us. It says, if anything, you have something else in mind, something less total than a commitment of God, God will clear your blurred vision. Yeah. It says, you'll see it yet. It says, now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. So if you had a focus on other things that's not really like God, it says, we think you think your vision. Amen. Get back on right track. Amen. Amen. And this time, stay on it. Amen. Amen. It says stay on the right track. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I'm like, man, Lord, I want to do that, but that's not the will of God. Amen. Lord God, I want to put this right here. No, that ain't what we're doing right now in this season. There's different seasons. Like people say, it's levels to this. Yeah. It's levels. Yeah. Amen. We got to grow in God because we ain't there yet. Yeah. We reaching. Amen. Yeah. We trying to get to that place, but we ain't yeah. there yet. Amen. In 17 through 19, it says, stick with me, friends, and keep track of those you see running this same course, headed for the same goal. It says, there are many out there taking other paths, choosing other goals, trying to get to you to get along with them. It says, I warned you of them many times. Sally, I'm having to do it again. It says, all they want is easy street. Amen. Ain't nothing easy about this. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing easy Hallelujah. about this. Amen. It's like as soon as you give God your hand, yeah. ain't you tough. Amen. Why did I give myself to God? Amen. 
you know, I say, I give myself away. You know, Pastor can't say it. But why? You know what I mean? You're like, man, I done did all that. Now it's hard. That's a test. Yes, a test. Yes, Come on now. Yes, it's a yes, test yes, to see if you're going to continue to reach yes, yes. in the press while it's an obstacle in front of you yes, yes. that's locking you. Yes. Right. Hey Amen. You got to press. You got to reach. It says they hate Christ's cross. It says, but easy street is a dead end street. So if you get in God and you feel like it's going to be easy, you tripping. Amen. It's a dead end if you think it's easy Amen. street. Amen. Amen. Don't take the easy route. Amen. Glory to God. It says, those who live there make their bellies their gods. Uh -huh. Belches.